Okay, so I updated the app that I use to make these videos and check this out. Come with me and complete the square. No, I know that they're still good in you. Yeah, this is happening. So, completing the square. First, we need to understand what the square is referring to. So there's this thing called the perfect square trinomial, like this. If we factor this, we're gonna get x plus three times x plus three, which is the same as x plus three squared. Hence, we call this the square. So take a look at this equation. x squared plus six x plus nine equals four. Now normally, we'd subtract the four, see if we could factor, quadratic formula, something, something like that. But in this case, if you notice that we have a perfect square, like so, we can proceed by factoring this guy out, giving us x plus three squared, just like we did before, equals four. Then we can do a little square root over here, a little square root over here. That's gonna take out that square root, leaving us with x plus three equals plus or minus two. Solving that out, we can subtract three from each side, and we're gonna get x equals negative three plus or minus two, or a final answer of x equals negative one or negative five. Bum, 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 bum. But what if the equation comes from the dark side? Complete the square. You must. We can see that this is not a perfect square trinomial. It can't even be factored. So there's a couple different ways to do this, but I found the easiest way is to clear your constant. So we're going to start by adding 1 to each side. That'll leave us with x squared minus 8x equals 1. Next, whatever your coefficient of x is, in this case is negative 8, we want to split that in half. That'll be in this case negative 8 divided by 2, which is negative 4. Next, we want to go ahead and square this term. That'll be negative 4 squared, negative 4 times negative 4, which is 16. From here, we want to take this 16 and add it back to both sides of our equation. Just like this, we get x squared minus 8x plus 16, and whatever we do to one side, we gotta keep it balanced, so we'll have equals one plus 16. Now, this might seem all a bit random to you, but you're gonna see how it comes together right now. If we look now, after we've added 16, this is actually a perfect square trinomial. If we factor this, we're gonna get x minus four times x minus four, which is x minus four squared equals 17. And you might notice that this minus four term here is always going to be that half that we took of our uh, b, or our coefficient of x. See this minus four right here? That's gonna end up being our uh, perfect square right down here, x minus four squared equals 17. And from here it's easy sailing. Square root over here, square root the right side, That'll be x minus 4 equals plus or minus the square root of 17. And adding 4 over, we'll get x equals 4 plus or minus square root of 17. That's our answer. So to summarize the process that we just went over of completing the square, whenever you have a quadratic equation, like so, you want to move the c term to the other side, find half of your b term, half of the coefficient of your x, and square it. Add that number, b, b over 2 squared, to each side to complete the square, then factor and solve. Zzzm. To run through that one more time, let's take this equation right here. We want to start by adding 4 to each side, giving us x squared plus 10x equals 4. Then we want to take our b term, divide that by 2, that'll give us 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Square that number, 5 squared, gives us 25, and this is what we want to add to each side of the equation. That'll be x squared plus 10x plus 25 equals 4 plus 25. Using the force, we can get x plus 5 squared equals 4 plus 25, 29. This is x plus 5 times x plus 5. And square rooting, that's going to cancel out that squared giving us x plus 5 equals plus or minus square root of 29, and subtracting that 5 over, we get a final answer of x equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 29. Watch out for imaginary numbers. Watch out in case you have to simplify the square root, but if you follow that process, you're always going to be successful.
Obi-Wan told me what you did with my math facilitator. He told me you killed him. No, I am your math facilitator. No! Uh, you slice off my hand.